what she's wearing today. Why does she dress like that? Does she even look in a mirror? Not here yet. Well, here she comes now. <laughs> Morning. Do you mind I have to get to my desk? Well, of course, vampire woman. Or are you a witch? What did I ever do to you? You dress like a freak. Oh, no. She's a witch. <laughs> Missy, you're late again? I told you I want to see you sitting down and working. But they were... Who's they? What are you driving at? Nothing. Sorry, Mr. Cernius. I need you to be here on time. If you can't be here on time, take an earlier bus if you don't want a car. Yes, I know there have been a few properties we haven't moved in a while. Yes, yep, the Somerdale place. No one's been out there in a while, and uh, it was pretty run down when we picked it up. Yeah, and get this, the locals say it's haunted. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> no, no, I know. There's nothing, it's nothing to be laughed about. Yep. Okay, I'll get somebody out there next week. Okay, I'll get somebody out there this weekend. There's a way to kill a weekend. Why don't you send Missy? Well, it's pretty far and she doesn't own a car. Well, when she refuses, you can fire the little freak. Yeah, she doesn't really quite fit in here with all her weirdness. Hi, I'm uh, Patsy Williams. Do you mind if I sit down? No, go ahead. I'm new here, just transferred from the West office. Um, Missy Higgs, I've worked here for a little less than a year. Do you like it? It's okay. Well, I, I was working this other job and going to school, uh, but then I got laid off and had to sell my car and had to drop out of college, so. That sucks. I had to decide if I wanted to eat or go to school, so. That's terrible. I mean, other people have bigger problems. So. True. What are you reading? So it's this really great graphic novel about one man's journey through an apocalyptic nightmare. Missy? Oh. Yes, Mr. Cernius? A few days ago, you were asking me about uh, some overtime, and I have some. Okay. I need you to do a full inspection on one of our properties. Okay. All well, that property's in Somerdale. Somerdale? Pretty far away. Y you know I don't have a car. If you want to work here, you need to be able to do the job. I need you to do it this weekend. Okay, Mr. Cernius. Um, sounds good. Well, 
don't forget to pick the keys up on the way out. I can drive you. I didn't have any plans this weekend anyway. You don't even know me. Well, Missy, I have the feeling that this is the start of a beautiful friendship. Casablanca, you got it. <laughs> it's a good movie, right? Really? Voicemail? <sighs> Listen, man, I've got the stuff. I've got the pictures, documents, everything. I need you here now. I'm on the corner of Villa and Central. There's a bookstore just down the corner. Meet me there. Hurry. Can I help you? No, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm good. Uh, just looking. What are you looking for? What? M maybe I can help you. Oh, no, 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 just, just looking. Hi, can I help you? No, we're good. You got a back door to this place? Sorry, man, didn't see you. It's okay, it's okay. Hey, going somewhere? Yeah, just uh, was leaving. What was that all about? Yeah, so I'm going up to this house to like check it out for work today. So that's interesting. Yeah, yeah, what are you guys up to? No, uh, I really, no, not much for me. Seriously, though, I'm really sad about your buttons. Yeah, yeah. they came off. Yeah. You know, um, do you know how to sew? Sew what? You know how to sew? No. Okay, well, it's actually, it's not that hard. You get, you get a needle, and you get some thread, and then you can just yeah, you cut right like on. Put it around. Mm -hmm. Pretty much. Yeah. 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 Do you know how to sew? No, a little uh, bit. Not yeah. really. Yeah. It's one of those skills that you don't really realize you need. Mm -hmm. Until you're like, oh, hey, I should fix that, you know. Oh, hey, Missy, your ride is here. Oh, thank you. Oh, okay. See you later, guys. Bye, Missy. Bye, Missy. Hey, um, do you think we could actually stop at a bookstore on the way? Sure, no problem. Awesome. It's actually, it's on the way, so. Yeah. Oh, it's a comic book store. Coming in? What? Uh, no. Missy used to read comics. I thought they were just for kids. Yeah, but I just really like them, you know? You know, I... Growing up, I never really had that many friends. And, you know, so I watched a lot of movies. A lot of horror stuff. And, I don't know, I just kind of got into comics. And, you know, they were like these friends, you know? That, like, I, I learned about their lives. And they were there for me. And... And then when my parents split up, sometimes they were all I had. And so I kind of, you know, really liked the spooky stuff, so I kind of started dressing kind of spooky and dark, and I don't know, I just think they're fun. Yeah, sure, I'll go in with you. Maybe I can find something to read. Thank you. 
Hi, Missy. How are you? Hey, Terry. I'm all right. How are you doing? Oh, good, good. Can't complain. Good. Are you in to pick up your books? Yeah, just a few this week, though. I'm a little short. Okay, let me go in the back and get them. What are you looking for? Just waiting for Terry. Don't usually see women in comic book stores. Well, you don't really look like you see too many women anyway. You got a smart mouth, you little... Hey! What'd she do to you? Your little friend here? She got a smart mouth. Women aren't meant for this stuff. What? They're not for little girls. Well, then what are you doing in here? <laughs> Why, you little... Is there a problem here? No, just leaving. Sorry about that, Missy. He's only been in here a few times. That's okay, Terry. Did you find something to read? Mm -hmm. No charge for the paperback. I'm just glad to see someone's interested. Oh, that's so kind. Oh, the plot thickens. I never read this one, but it looks pretty interesting. And you know what they say, you can never judge a book by its cover. <laughs> that is true. Thank you so much. Oh, thanks again. Yeah. Thanks, Terry. Take see care. You soon. Have a great weekend. So Mr. Cernia said that a lot of the local people think that this place we're going to is haunted. Haunted? Yeah, he probably just said that to scare you. <laughs> yeah. Probably. It's right here. It's gone. What are you talking about? I mean, it's gone. I put it in a book. It was right here, and now it's gone. A book? Yeah, a book. It's... Can I help you? Yeah, I'm looking for a book. Oh, there's lots of books here. I know, I know there's lots of books here. Uh, it was a book right in this spot called The Plot Thickens. Oh, I sold that a couple of hours ago. You're kidding. No, I distinctly remember a couple of young ladies came in and bought it. Is there any way you would know the purchaser of this book? Yeah, it was Missy's friend. M Missy? Yeah, Missy, she comes in once a month to pick up her books. Comic books. Uh. Well, would you happen to know how we can find her? We'd like to buy the book from her. Well, I know she lives around here, but I don't know exactly where. Uh, would you happen to have a phone number? Yeah, I've got it on my customer list, but I'm sorry I can't give that info out. Ah, uh, that's too bad. We were going to offer her some big money for that book. Thanks anyway. Hey, Terry, can you grab my books? Oh, sure. Right in back. Disgusting. That was so <laughs> gross. God, I'm glad I didn't have to go. Yeah. Hello? It, yeah, I was at Unicorn Comics today. What book? Oh, the, the plot thickens. Yeah, yeah, my friend bought it. A guy on the phone wants to buy that book you got, that The Plot Thickens. How did he get your number? Oh, yeah. Hey, how'd you get my number? Oh, okay, uh, Terry got it from the book list. Well, <laughs> tell him we'll call him back on Monday. Yeah. Um, yeah, uh, we're actually working right now, but we can call you back on Monday. How much? So, <laughs> uh, yeah, um, we can definitely call you back on Monday. Yeah, yes, yes, I promise. Oh, okay, bye. 
okay, that was that was weird, but I mean, he's willing to come and pick it up. Yeah, that's really weird. Must be a really rare book if someone wants to come all this way and buy it. Yeah. Yeah. 100 bucks, sure, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Thank you, boys are here. Well, what'd you find out? Some woman has it. Noonan hid it in some book. Book. So what? Did you get it? Well, we talked to her, but she said to call back Monday. Let me explain something to you. I don't care what she said! Find out where she is and get it! How are we supposed to do that? Figure it out. Call around. Just get it. Do I have to do everything for you two idiots? Find her, get it back, and do not, I repeat, do not leave a trail. Do you two idiots think you can handle that? Yes, yes sir. sir. Sorry, Sorry sir. sir. I'm, I'm not getting any signal. Yeah, me neither. I think we're going to have to stop somewhere and ask for directions. Yeah. It's getting late. Hi, how are you doing? Good. What can I do for you? Uh, my friend and I are looking for an address, but our phones lost their signal, and we think we're close, but we're not exactly sure. What's the address? Um, 12 Forest Lane. What do you want to go there for? We have to check out the property for work. You're just a few miles away. I wouldn't go anywhere near it. Why not? It's haunted. A few people around here think it's haunted. Probably because no one's lived in it in years. No, it's haunted. Am I real? I wouldn't go anywhere near it. Don't give it no mind. Let me show you how to get there. Hi, are you the owner? Yep, just closing up, but if you needed something. I'm Detective Corrigan, just some information. Well, like I said, I was just closing up. I won't be long, just want to show you a picture. Have you seen this man? Yeah, he was in earlier today, and he was looking for a book. We found his body. Did he say anything to you? Body? What do you mean? He's dead? Yeah, he just came in earlier in the day looking for a book. A book? Yeah, he was in with two guys, and I had told them that I had sold it to someone else. Would you mind coming to the station? I would like to get the whole story. Okay. Wow, I can't believe it. He's dead. It's getting late. We may have to spend the night. That's what I was thinking. It's okay. I can I can look over it in the morning. And I can help too. I'm not just gonna stand around. Thanks. I'm sure you didn't think you were gonna kill your whole weekend. I'm here for the long haul.
spooky. No, not around for miles. I thought you liked spooky. Well, yeah, but not real spooky. What's real spooky? Well, you know, I like spooky things in, in movies and books, but like this is real life spooky. Yeah, it's pretty creepy. Well, here we are. Yep, here we are. Here goes nothing. Right behind you. Well, that's good. Power works. Yeah. Do you want to walk around, find somewhere to camp out? Yeah, that sounds good. It looks like nobody has lived here in a long time. Yeah, a long, long time. This looks like a good place to settle. Okay. Are you tired? Not really. Why don't we walk around tonight and do the report on the property and then we can get an early start tomorrow. Yeah, that's a good idea. Well, and then you can feel like you didn't spoil your whole weekend. I told you, I don't mind. Thanks. I really, really need this job. Well, let's get started. This looks like a way out. Yeah, looks like it. Bell tower shaft. Yeah, I guess. I mean, I don't see a, a bell. Let me see, there's something up. Where? There was something up there. I don't, I don't know about you, but I'm starting to get really tired. I must be seeing things, but I, I could have sworn. How about we, we go back to the room where we put our stuff and we can lock the door, just in case. Just in case. Come here. This is the door to that tower room. 
Hey, watch it. It's a um, long way down. This, this, this is the door where I thought I saw someone. Oh, my phone doesn't have any signal. Does yours? No, me neither. Now I'm scared. This has to be it. We haven't seen another car for miles. Get the flashlight in case we need it. Got a flashlight on my phone. Let's go have some fun. happened while we were sleeping that's true I guess we're okay you know maybe maybe I didn't see anything you know, I always thought it would be fun to be in a spooky house yeah fun to a certain extent you know I always love those monster movies yeah I always preferred the classics I always really liked classic horror films you know Wolfman Dracula Frankenstein just out of curiosity, why did you like them so much? Weren't you afraid of the monsters? I don't know, I guess I just always liked them. And, and I was never really afraid of the monsters. I mostly just felt bad for them. You know, the Wolfman and especially Frankenstein's monster. You know, they were alone and outcasts. They never asked to be monsters. What about Dracula? Like... No, never feel sorry for Dracula. <laughs> Well, I think it's great that you're into comic books and horror stuff. What about you? I mean, I know you like older movies. Yeah, I always like those. Um, I don't know, I guess I was kind of a nerd <laughs> when I was a kid. I didn't like make a ton of friends. I like made teacher friends. Um, I was an avid reader, not comic books though. Well, I guess that's okay. I just pushed myself a lot when I was younger. I didn't make a ton of time for fun. Shh. What? Sorry, I just, I thought I saw something. You know, like out of the corner of my eye. I guess I'm just still tired. Now I wish we were still asleep. I'm sorry I woke you up. Oh, now I am fast awake. I just wish it was morning. I know it's late, but do you want to start driving? That's a really good idea. Uh -huh. definitely a noise. Now we know someone's here. Someone or something. So what do we do now? I don't know. Wait, wasn't there a door in the cellar? Oh yeah, but a door to where? I think it was a door to the outside. Yeah, but we still have to go through this door. Maybe if we just move more quickly and quietly, we can just get down there and then out of here. I'm really scared. Me too, but no matter what, we just run towards the door, okay? So far, so good. Keeping my fingers crossed. Oh. All right. That's far enough. What's going on? What are you doing? Shut up and move. Not that way. What is this all about? Just shut up and move. Where are you bringing them? Just be quiet and follow my lead.
Can we just ask what's going on? Yeah, shut up and sit down. We're sitting down now. What's going on? We didn't do anything to you. You got something we want. You got it, and we need it to bring back to the boss. What are you talking about? Mr. Delgado sent us. Shut the hell up. All right, all right. What does it matter what I say? That's true. One of you bought something at the bookstore. A book. A paperback. The plot thickens. That's the book that someone called about. That was us. We said we'd sell it to you. Too late. Hand it over. Okay, you have the book. Can, can we go now? Too late! All this for a book? It's not the book. It's what's inside. Check it out. Here it is. I didn't know there was anything in that book. Too late! We didn't do anything! It doesn't matter now. We can't leave any loose ends. We didn't do anything! Too late! What are you gonna do? Well, we're going to kill you. It's nothing personal. We're just doing our job. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We won't say anything. We don't even know what's on that card. Please don't shoot us. It's too late. Wait a minute! What? Come here. What? Open the door. What? Just open the door. Whoa, big drop. So what? Good idea. Change of plans, we're not gonna shoot you. Get up and walk over there. You said you weren't gonna kill us. Oh no, you misunderstood. We're not going to shoot you. What are you going to do? Well, we're going to have you take a little walk. Wait! People know that we're here. That's true. But they don't know we're here. And that you two ladies tripped and fell down the tower shaft. Patsy, I'm so sorry. If you'd never helped me, you wouldn't be in this mess. Missy, none of this is your fault. You didn't ask for any of it. What are we going to do? Quit stalling. We're not moving. Yeah, jerk. We don't have to take orders from you. Doesn't matter anyway. No one's gonna save you now. Too late! <laughs> nice! Uh, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Okay, well, what do we do now? Get their gun, tie them up, and then go get help. Okay. Hey, uh, so, uh, what do you want to say about, you know? Nothing. I mean, we don't know what he was, but he saved our lives. Our secret. Thanks again. You guys might be here for a while today. Yeah, it's fine. Fine. Yeah, it's fine. Just ask them! Yeah, just ask them. Ask them what? About the monster. Monsters? They're still a little <laughs> um, Actually, Missy and I are black belts in karate. <laughs> yep. I could work with that. Francis Delgado? Yeah. You're under arrest. <laughs> idiots. Those idiots. Thanks again, and you know, I'm sorry you had to go through all that. No, I mean, well, besides meeting some being from somewhere and almost being killed, I mean, uh, I had a really good time, so yeah. 
So yeah, uh, you get some rest, and I'll give you a call, and we'll we'll chat, grab a bite to eat. Yeah, so. sure. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. See you later. Bye. Hi, Missy. Did you have fun at the house? You know, Davey, I think I did. That's good. I even made a couple friends. Oh, were we still friends? No. We're not? No, we. We are best buds. Is, is that better than a friend? It's way better. That's good. Yeah, best buds are they're the best. That's good. You know, there's even a secret handshake. Can you show me it? <laughs> the secret handshake seems more like a hug. That's cool. Can you tell me about the house? Oh, sure. Uh, where shall I start? Was it spooky? Oh, it was way spooky. cops were here, were you? Good, well, I brought you some supplies. Listen, stay quiet and keep out of sight. I gotta go now, but I'll be back soon. And don't worry, we'll figure out how to get you home. <laughs> 